Hare Krishna. My name is Bhakti Bringa Govinda Swami. And I met the disciples of Srila Prabhupada in the spring of 1971. I guess it was basically early, early summer of 1971. I met disciples of His Divine Grace. And um, I chanted Hare Krishna with them. I had known the Maha Mantra before because I'd read it in yoga books and I chanted Maha Mantra before but never did I experience anything from chanting Maha Mantra. But when I sang the Maha Mantra with Vaishnavs who had received the mantra from the lips of His Divine Grace, it had a very uh, revolutionary effect in my heart and after that I continued chanting and about 10 days later I met devotees on Harinam in Rochester, New York I was riding on the bus I looked out and I saw the devotees chanting on the street and I got off the bus and I just went and I got in line and I started singing with the devotees and I had that same revolutionary ecstatic feeling in my heart that had happened to me when I first chanted. And after I was chanting for about an hour, one devotee sort of became a little courageous and he came up to me and he said, do you know something about chanting Hare Krishna? And I smiled at him and said, the only thing I know is that I like it very much. That was on a Monday. They invited me to go back to their temple in Buffalo, New York, and I said, but I do not have my belongings, how can I go? They said, okay, we will return to this city on Friday. You chant with us and you come back on Friday night. So I did. All week long I was in great anticipation, waiting for the devotees to come. They arrived on Friday. We chanted all day. Had that same wonderful, wonderful spiritual experience. And on Friday evening we drove from Rochester to Buffalo. And I walked into the temple. This when the evening RT was going on. I joined the kirtan and I started dancing and dancing and feeling spiritual joy and uh, one very wonderful Vaishnav, great Vaishnav, his name is uh, His Holiness Gunagrahi Goswami. He had just been initiated at that time and as soon as Kirtan was finished he had seen that I liked the kirtan, I had some special experience. He said, please come to me, I have a gift for you. And he took me to his room and he gave me the japa beads that he had chanted on before he received his japa beads from Srila Prabhupada. And he taught me, within a half hour of being in the temple, he taught me how to chant japa. So I stayed the Friday night stayed the Saturday. Sunday I was able to go in the kitchen and help peel the potatoes for the Sunday feast. Had absolutely delicious Sunday feast. I can still remember the flavors to this very day. It was so wonderful. And after the Sunday feast, the temple president came and he said, what do you plan to do? Do you like it here? I said, I love it here. And he said, your plans? And I said, well, I've already made a plan to meet my brother. And we're going to go to one big, big music festival. We've already purchased our tickets. But after the music festival, I would love to come back here. And then my senior godbrother, Pancharatna Prabhu, who's lived in Mayapur for so many years and has always been 
you know, doing so many wonderful services in ISKCON. He was just a bhakta at that time. And when I said that I would like to go and come back, he looked at me and he said, No! You cannot go! You must stay here for at least three months. And after three months, you will understand each and everything about Krishna consciousness. Because if you go now, Maya will certainly catch you. And he said that, and I looked at him and I said, Yes, I will stay. So I walked in the temple one Friday night, uh, and that was 44 years ago. And I didn't walk back out, so I've just been in the temple since that time trying to understand, you know, this glorious mission of Srila Prabhupada and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu.